Rian Kamal, that's a good question. So let's take a look at what actually triggers the start of the wet season. It could either be the passage of a tropical wave, which is an elongated area of low pressure that moves off the African coast and makes it all the way to the Caribbean, or the intertropical convergence zone, which is a narrow area of convergence of the trade winds that produces showers and thunderstorms and lots of cloudy activity. So either of these systems, when they move across Trinidad and Tobago, and they have to produce rainfall, that triggers the start of the wet season, which generally runs anywhere from mid-May or even June all the way to the end of the year and sometimes into January as well. And then we typically see a, those tropical wave activity really stick around until November. So not every tropical wave produces rainfall and keep that in mind because the Met Office is monitoring a tropical wave that is two hours south and east. You're not seeing a lot of activity on satellite imagery, but we can see it using other tools uh, available to us and it's forecast to generally remain south of Trinidad and Tobago over the next day or so. And if we do see any rainfall produced from that tropical wave, that would trigger the start of the wet season. But the Met Office says it's a very low chance of that happening. And we do expect to see drier weather next week. But as we head through this weekend, we have some moisture from the southeast moving across Trinidad and Tobago with favorable upper level conditions that could produce some isolated heavier showers and even a thunderstorm come Monday, especially with this narrow area of convergence, not the intertropical convergence zone. And you can see that two hours southeast. And that could bring some cloudy weather as well. So we're looking at the forecast for us overnight tonight, partly to mostly cloudy skies, especially across southern parts of Trinidad. Minimum low temperatures around 24 to 25 degrees, a bit warmer in Tobago. And for tomorrow, we'll be seeing slightly hazy conditions. We still have mild concentrations of Saharan dust present. So really only the unusually sensitive groups will be feeling this. So they should be taking the precautions. But we're starting off mild with minimum lows around 25 degrees, warming up to another 32 degree day. But we will be seeing some isolated showers across the country. Could even see an isolated heavy shower favoring southern parts of Trinidad. So walk with the umbrellas tomorrow, as well as the water and sunscreen. And if you're heading to the beach, well, here's what you can expect. Seas in open waters, waves up to 1.5 meters. In sheltered areas, seas will be near calm. And that's because we have winds decreasing as we head into the weekend with no marine advisories in effect. And what to expect for the next several days? Well, tomorrow, partly cloudy. We may see one or two isolated showers. Over the weekend, however, we will be seeing a couple more showers, especially during the afternoon. And by Sunday, we could see some rain, which is a bit more prolonged than even an isolated thunderstorm. But coming to Monday and Tuesday, the sunshine returns. Temperature-wise, over the next several days, maximum highs topping out at around 32 degrees. So if you're doing something this weekend for Mother's Day, especially on Sunday, maybe consider moving your plans indoors. Back to you.